and explain us the amorous adventures of bold Sir Hans Capon. Oh, he's bold, Sir Hans. I missed that bit out. You know the heir to the town of Ratai, young Sir Hans Capon, well enough to realise that there's more than a little truth <laughs> to the rumours that he's an incorrigible seducer and whoremonger. But then again, maybe he's just looking for love, the kind you can't buy at the bathhouse. <laughs> you have a feeling that if you knew him better, you are very likely to get drawn into his amorous adventures. His lordship's herald, his messenger of love, it has a ring to it. Okay. Hey, Marky Mark Spider, Mr. Scott and Shockerek. Uh, how, how are you lot doing? Well, how are everyone doing? I hope you had a good week, by the way, and looking forward to a fantastic weekend. Right then. Um... Well, the game has obviously predicted we would be loading at this point. Oh, tournament mode as well. Black clouds of strife are gathering. The thundering drums of war rumble across the land. And the whole kingdom awaits the next lightning bolt with bated breath. I think it's setting us up for the sequel here as well. Not so the undaunted Sir Hanish, who decided to bolster morale with a regular tourney. Or tourney. Tourney? To keep his subjects fighting fit and distract them from the pervasive gloom. The tourney takes place every few days by the upper castle in Ratai. All types of melee weapons are permitted, and the contest is open to combatants from all walks of life, even a low-born, uneducated misfit like you. Ah, oh, it knows me so well. Just go and ask Sir Hans Capon about it, and he'll tell you all you need to know. So Sir Hans is the man in this DLC, it seems. So let's go find him. Oh, right, are we triggering both Bold Sir Hans and the Village Building DLC? I'm going to do the Sir Hans bit first and the Village Building DLC separately afterwards. I don't want to do both at once. Unless we end up with, you know, something like we have to wait for five days for some of quest to kick off. I don't expect we will, but uh, no, the plan is to do all the Sir Hans stuff and the Village Building God afterwards. Save you, Henry. And you, my friend. That is a very dedicated man sharpening a sword there. Why can't I sharpen my sword on the move like that? They should have little sharpening stone kits. That would be a nice move. I'm just going to have a pot of food while we're here. And let's get this party started. I don't know what to expect. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Hmm. This looks new. Are you wishing you'd stayed home at Ratai instead of joining in our nighttime venture? You must be joking. I haven't had so much fun since... actually ever. <laughs> really? Despite being wounded? Actually, you missed the best part. When I was hauling you like a sack of grain to the battlements dead to the world. It can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. Oh, all right then. Next time, I'll just leave you to Istvan's tender mercies. Nonsense. What would you do without me? Still, thank you for hauling me out of there. Anything for you, my lord. Oh, OK. Well, young sir, what now? Shall we ride boldly forth to adventures new? I never took you for a romantic soul. This must but be as it. it happens, a romantic soul is just what I need by my side right now. We're going in. What, here? Now? <laughs> Aren't we leaving? Ah, that's just the thing. Here we are, about to ride off into the unknown. Well, who knows what fate has in store for us? What if we should fall as heroes on the battlefield? How could I depart this world with a quiet heart, never having known true love? I'm a little worried about you, sir. Aren't you getting overheated inside that armour? Look, I can't just go off and get my head chopped off somewhere without first winning the heart of the girl I love. So are you going to help me or not? This is Wingman Henry coming to the rescue. <laughs> Let's get it over and done with. <laughs> well, affairs of the heart are what I do best. Mm. I'll be glad to help you. So what do you want me to do? You, Hal, shall be my messenger of love. You shall bear her a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. Well, why me? OK. It's not like you to be bashful, Sir Hans. You can just go and tell her... Um... Certainly not. Carolina is different to the others. She was educated in a convent and needs to be handled with kid gloves. Romanced. I must court her secretly. It's the latest fashion in France. And who is this is Carolina? Right? The fairest maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The butcher's daughter. <laughs> you must have noticed a divine creature in the marketplace. 
unless you're more interested in barnyard animals. We don't judge. Um, I don't remember. Uh, I, I, I keep, as soon as I, I hear that name, I want to start singing Oh Carolina, but I, I'm going to refrain. I don't want to put the viewers off. Welcome, Carolina, I do know her. She's a pretty girl, all right, but, um, well, a little below your station. Love knows no station but the heart. And you keep your peasant eyes off her. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. Did I steal it? When will I get my father's sword that Istvan stole? I think in about two and a half years' time, when the sequel comes out. I think that's... Well, I'm just guessing at the time. It might, it might be more than that. I don't know. What happened to it? I lost it playing dice at the end. Nice one. But you'll get it back for me. You're a smart lad. I'm sure you'll figure out a way. And I'll reward you handsomely. OK. Oh, all right, then. We have a task. Is there something else I should know about this necklace? I lost it at dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Oh, oh. Well, that's not important. Do go on. So you bet a rare family heirloom even though you don't know how to play dice. I do know how to play dice, as long as the other fella doesn't cheat. <laughs> no doubt he'll still be sitting there, swindling other folk out their hard-earned groshen. Well, then you ought to have had him clapped in the stocks. But all right, if that's what you want, I'll go to Ledechko and find this swindler of yours. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Good luck, then. OK, looks so like we have a task. We're going looking for Sir Hans's family necklace. Do you know, I have a feeling that this, this, <laughs> Henry's the wingman. Henry's going to line these two up for love. Henry's going to get into a lot of trouble, I suspect, on this. And also, you know that film, is it, was it Roxanne with Steve Martin? Was that the one where he had the big long nose? Um, I think it might go something a little bit like that. So. Let's see. Let's see. What about my quests? Do I still, I still have the old quests as well. We've got Game of Throws. Uh, let's get the necklace back. And we've got Honeyed Words. Get That is to get the necklace back. Game of Throws. Find the dice player who won Sir Hans's necklace. Nothing else has been added in that I can see. Right. Okay. What we can do... We need to go to Ledechko, but we can stop by Ratai first because... There might be a tournament. It's held every few days, so typically I'm going to turn up there at night time and probably miss it. But um, if there's fighting to be done and money to be wagered, I want a part of that. Let's go and see what's going on here. It did say, yeah, it said by the upper castle. It's not by that, clearly. Let's, let's ride in. Or well, in the upper castle, did it say? Oh, hang on. Yeah, we have a tournament ring. Right. It's got it marked on the map. Do I just jump in? Yay. Right. There must be someone to talk to in regards to this. What about this chap here? Herald. What are the rules of the tournament? Is there anything I should watch out for? Well, it's not a life or death struggle. <laughs> We're not barbarians, after all. Speak for yourself. Anything in particular you'd like to know? How long does it go on? All day long. The combatants have to go through several tough bouts before the outcome is decided. Usually the victory is announced before sunset, but it's not unheard of for duels to drag out until nightfall. Okay. How many rounds do I have to win to become the final victor? Depends how many people enroll. Today comes out of three rounds. The combatants who win the first round go through to the second, and the winners of the second will fight each other in the final duel. What are the rules of combat? The tourney is for commoners, but that doesn't mean chivalrous behavior doesn't apply. Anyone who leaves the arena before the winner is announced forfeits the duel. If you strike an opponent who has yielded, you'll be disqualified. <laughs> right, I'd better be careful. No more mercy kills then. And what do I have to do to win? 
Do I have to beat the opponent every time, or do I get several tries? To get to the second round, you have to beat your opponent twice in the first one. If both opponents win one bout each in the round, the victor is decided in a third duel. Whoever wins that one goes on to the next round. Okay. What kind of weapons are used in the tourney? You can take your pick. In the first two duels, that is. If a third duel is needed to decide the matter, Sir Hannes chooses oh, the weapon. Oh, well, that's going to be interesting then. So we can't necessarily use our own. Can I borrow weapons and armour here? Good not only can you, you have to. This is about fighting skill, not about who's got the best kit. Okay. So you and your opponent get the same. There's equipment prepared for all the combatants. As soon as you sign up, you'll have armour and weapons prepared for you too. That makes sense. How do I sign up? Thanks. That's all I need to know. Uh, I want to enrol. I'd like to enrol in the big tournament. You'll have to wait a few days until Sir Hanish announces another one. Bollocks. Come then, and I'll gladly sign you up. Okay, it's to Ladechko. And we should get there just as evening falls. Just in time to go and find a cheating dice player in the tavern. The thing is, I'm a cheating dice player. I just have to make sure I cheat better than he does. So then, to Ladechko. And see where this... Journey of Love takes us. Hi, Modfather. How's it going? Oh, sorry. Hi, EB. I don't know if I said hello to you, but uh, hi. Welcome back. So, folks, what have you like? What have you lies? What have you guys and uh, girls got planned and lined up for the weekend? Anything fun and exciting? Any new games? Did you pick any up in the Green Man sale that started yesterday? Salt sprinkled with the bloody tears of Saint James Madonna. I thought he was shouting assault. Though what the hell that was, I don't know. Right then, I need a tavern. Should be a tavern right here. Yeah, sorry, Green Man Gaming. They've got a sale on uh, a load of action and adventure games, including the entire Assassin's Creed series. Well, I think the entire series. All the ones I recognise anyway. Could this be the cheating dice player? The Dechko player. Looks suspicious. Good day to you. What do you need? Hmm, <laughs> just say, yeah, well, why not? Let's Are you the one who played dice with Laura Capon? Played and won, lad. A fine noble he may be, but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree with you there. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewellery you won from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Oh. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. Okay. A noble. Can you tell me anything else about him? Fine gent he was. Well dressed. On horseback. Had quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interesting looking dice. You said they fell well for him? Aye. And no wonder. Fine dice they was. Made special. All shiny and whatnot. Hmm. I have some of those. Did you know where this fellow was heading? He was waiting for someone here, but when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sassau River, that one before the charcoal burners camp. Hmm. You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sassau. Okay, thanks for That's that, all I buddy. May the Lord watch over you. I think, I hope it's marked on the map because... Um... What the hell? Wow, that's like, uh, that's a bit beyond Sasso. Certainly not on the way to Sasso. Right, fast travel to the monastery. Oh, um, no, I'll go and find him if he's camping. He'll be there at night time. Hi, Mikey Moot. How are you tonight? Oh, I am glad this week is over. It's been rather hectic. Including two failed attempts at getting videos out on both Tuesday and Wednesday. Thanks to YouTube not working, my uh, my review of Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I worked really hard to get it ready on Tuesday and to then to get it released, uploaded, and I sat up till midnight waiting for ages for it to process, and I finally got it released about midnight time. And then I find out the next morning when it's had next to no views that YouTube was down all night across the world and my efforts were totally wasted anyway. 
<laughs> you know that feeling. It's been a long week, has it, Mikey? Yeah. Oh, hi, Zarius, as well. Um, yeah, and then, Wednesday, the same thing happened. I tried and tried and tried to get my World of Tanks Wednesdays video up. And I eventually got it uploaded. And then it's stuck at 360p resolution for like two hours until I eventually just gave up and went to bed. So two episodes into World of Tanks Wednesdays and we haven't had World of Tanks on a Wednesday yet. <laughs> I might have to rename the series at this rate. Yeah. So yeah, two very late nights. Frantic work trying to get those done. And it was all for nothing. I don't know if I've used this uh, road before, this bridge. Let's see. Where is that? Where is, that? is that it down there? Is that a bridge? This looks like it. There's a guy asleep here. Ooh, now then. This gives me some interesting options, doesn't it? Because I can do the old sneaking and pick... He's dead. You see, he's, he's, he's been... Done over. This doesn't look good. Are you after something? I'm afraid my friend here won't tell you much. Your friend? Oh, I'm very sorry. And, um, well, I don't want to be insensitive, but I was hoping to get something from him. My master's necklace, which he won at Dice. Your master? Who would that be? Well, Sir Radzig Cobbler of Scalitz is my liege lord. I'm Henry, but just now I'm helping Sir Hans Capon with a, um, a, a private matter. Hmm. Those are weighty names in these parts. I'm Sir Anselm of Domkey, in the service of... Well, that's not important. I'd like to give you... That is... I'd like to ask you for your help. What? Well, this looks very suspicious. I turn up, find a dead body, and this guy standing over it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Mikey Moo, this is the DLC. So Hans has... He wants to woo the butcher's daughter in... I don't know where he said in. Was it in Ratai? I think it was in Ratai. Um, and my first task is to go and get his great-great-grandmother's necklace back at, that he lost in a game of dice. So, um, yes. Let's see where we go with this. Tell me what you know. I will. And I'm sure it will help you find that necklace. The thing is, this is all my fault. I got held up on the way to meet Alphonse. By the time I got here, I found him like this. <sighs> God have mercy this on This is soul. nonsense. Amen, lad. I was heartbroken and enraged by turns, tearing my hair and cursing. Alphonse was my good friend, and it pains me to know he was only here on account of me. I brought him into a certain business matter to negotiate with some people, and he agreed. And this is how it ended up. When I finally pulled myself together... I took a look around and found some tracks. I followed them to the camp of those very brigands that Alphonse was supposed to negotiate with. Nah, you can't trust anyone these days. So how can I help? You can pass yourself off as Alphonse. Get into the bandit's camp and find that fucking murderer. And when you do, well, hang on. you'll find what you're looking for. Hang on. If I pretend to be the murderer, surely when I go into the camp, the murderer will... Say, that's not Alphonse, he's dead by the river, unless this guy's the murderer. I don't trust this fella. I don't trust this fella. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense. So ever. If one of them killed Alphonse, he'll know I'm not Thank him. you, Henry, yes. No, no. They never saw him before. So whoever killed him surely took him for some passing merchant. Are you quite sure they don't know him? Aye. He moved in altogether different circles. Among decent people. That's the very reason I asked him for help. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. I think the best solution here is to kill this bloke and then go to the camp myself. Now, wouldn't it be better if you did that yourself? After all, I know nothing about this Alphonse. They'd see through me. I'd do it if I could, lad. Only they know me, and I'm not on the best of terms with them. They'd most likely kill me on sight. Then the two of us would be dead and those bastards would get away with it. Well, I hope I can avoid the same fate. This, this is... There's no way. that He doesn't even have an honest-sounding voice, this guy. How am I supposed to recognise the killer? Ask around. I don't reckon anyone will admit to stabbing him in his sleep, but... 
you might pick up some clue. You could have a look around for that necklace. Now that I think of it, they stole other valuables from him too. Oh, did they? Silver is silver, though. I won't recognise anything. Didn't he have something unique? A signet ring or a chain or... No, not that I can... Oh, yes, he did. Dice. He had a set of dice made specially in Prague. It was his pride and joy. They were red and gold, bright and shiny. Not the kind of thing you'd overlook. Hmm. Hi, Typhon. How are you? What can you tell me about Alphonse? So they don't catch me out if they start asking questions. Indeed. A few details should suffice. He was from Slani, but lived in Prague the last few years. He advised people very well, too. He helped them to deal with problems of all kinds. Yeah, he sounds like a man of the world, but I've never even been to Prague. I'm not sure I can fool them. You can always change the subject. He was an ardent dice player, God forgive him. And he spent some time in Moravia on the service of Prokop of Luxembourg. But that was ages ago. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and knock this guy out before I go anywhere and make sure he's not holding all this, all this stuff. What do you know about the brigands in that camp? Actually, they're not just ordinary bandits. It's a robber baron and his band. Sir Ehar Baron Bielowitz. <laughs> some of his vassals and maybe some commoners. They came here in the hope they'd have a better chance of keeping their heads. Why don't you ask some of the local lords for help? I'm sure the Sassau custodian would lend you a few men. <laughs> There's nothing I'd like to see more than a lot of them strung up. Only I have a task that conflicts with that. And as for the custodian, I'm pretty sure Sir Sebastian is in league with their heart. Well, we didn't like the custodian of Sassau, that's for sure, but this is news to me. What was the purpose of Sir Alphonse's negotiations? I'll need to know that. Look, Henry, you best avoid that subject if at all possible. Just find the murderer for me, get your necklace, and I'll take care of the rest. It'll be a bit hard to avoid that, since it was supposed to be the entire purpose of his visit. True. Well, Alphonse was supposed to talk Earhart into moving his robbing raids towards Benishoff, especially holding up merchants' wagons heading for Prague. In return, he was to offer a reward of up to 12,000 groschen and safe haven in Pilgrims. I see. So you work for someone in Pilgrims? No, neither Pilgrims nor Benishoff, nor Vlashim for that matter. It's a bit complicated. Damn politics. Come on, Henry, just bash him. Just bash him and drag him to the bailiff. Yeah, you're finishing some stuff so you can spend the whole afternoon tomorrow playing the new Soul Calibur with a friend. That should be good fun. Is there anything else I should watch out for while passing myself off as Alphonse? The main thing is to look and sound like a noble, not a peasant, a commoner. So dress the part. No rags or rusty iron. That means go and have a bath. My word, the whole thing sounds like quite a twisted affair. So are you going to help me? Shall I go for this? Shall I? I'm going to go for this. The thing is, frankly, I don't <laughs> believe a word you've said. I reckon you killed him yourself, and you spun some nonsensical yarn to put me off the scent. And now you try and send me right into your bandit crony's camp to get my throat cut. Or would you murder me yourself while I sleep, like you did him? What in God's name are you saying? You can't be serious. You doubt my honour. You call me a murderer? I do. Then you'll pay for it. No doubt you're in oh, league well, with the killer yourself. Here we go. And you'll confess to it before I kill you. Well. Hang on, Henry. You better get a sword out here. <laughs> Ow. Let's do that bit again. Well, apparently I was wrong. This guy's innocent. Because I've just got reported for being a, a bad guy now. I'll accept his surrender. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. Oh, that was a good one. Swing away, swing away. It's very hard to do this in the dark. You've got to be kidding. I will accept your surrender if you're damn quick about it. You call that com? I'm gonna trap you against my horse. Tell you what, should we kick him into the river? Let's see what that does. 
Ah, getting my ass handed to me and I can't see. Come on, swing away. Then. No, I can't, I can't see the thing. A good one. I think I think I blocked that. Smack, smack. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to switch weapons. We're going to have a shield and a bloody great big mace and we're just going to conk him on the head and knock him out like that. Right. I guess that was the wrong response before then. Yep, yeah, this is how we fight. Bash. I've killed him. How did that happen? Oh well, there's no skin off our nose. What's he got that's worth a bit? Pretzel. Some golden spurs. And a noble cuirass. Have I, um... That's seriously good. I'll have that. I don't really need any of this, but I'm having it anyway. And unfortunately... No fancy necklace. Okay, so he was innocent. That's fine. <laughs> this is the direction that uh, my DLC is taking. I was indeed using the Force Mikey Moo. That's how we do it in the dark. Looks like he died without a struggle. Maybe killed in his sleep. They took everything he had. Money, jewellery, even his boots. They took a lot. Okay. So we need... This is a very strange going on. A very strange... Something else to inspect. Someone was searching for something here. Were they out to rob him of everything he had? Or something in particular? Why should I be paying more attention to... Uh, this camp? There's obviously room for a second guy there. Poor old Sir Anselm will never... Well, he should have told us more about uh, who he was working for. That's all I'm going to say. Could it be someone was trying to get rid of something here? Oh! I got a scorched map. That was worth looking for. I think we've inspected everything else. Yeah, I hate fighting in the dark. Wasn't really expecting that to be a fight in the dark, but... Uh... Right, so we've got a map. We should be good now. Let's put the sword away. Sorry, the mace. It's the mace. Have I still got an armorous kit? Ooh, wow, that's taken a bit of a pasting. And we'll get <laughs> this stolen stuff done as well. Hey, hang on. Why is Henry... Oh, it's because I've got that over the top and it's knackered. Yee. It's not showing up. Hang on. It should be showing that on top. And it is now. That's better. And we'll just drop um, that on the horse. That on the horse. Put that over the top, which is kind of broken. I need to get that fixed then. Right, okay. So I think we've got... We have a strange map. That's the hideout of the robber baron. But do I need to look at this um, scorched map? Isn't there, is it? I've got some bandit leader spurs. That's a quest item that I obviously don't need anymore. Uh, what have we got down here? Scorched map. 